on a barren desert planet called Zurak. There was a mad god king, Nebuchadnezzar. In his reign, he had attained absolute domination. He had conquered his entire planet, and yet still, above all, he desired more power. He traveled to the most sacred hall of his castle to gaze under the crystal orb of fate for guidance. He beckoned for a vision of power, and a vision he received. The orb showed Nebuchadnezzar an alignment of 22 planets, converging directly towards planet Zorak. As the planets and stars wandered into line above, preparations began below. To harness the power of this cosmic event, all wizards of the kingdom were called forth to work under the God King. A great manner of wonders were created for this undertaking. Astrologers studied trajectories and prepared for the moment was finally at hand. An event unseen for 100,000 years was directly upon King Nebuchadnezzar and his planet Zorak. The sky shook and blazed purple as the extraction mechanism pierced the ecliptic energies. As the alignment took place, the immense energy was drawn into great chalices for further use. The chalices filled and it became clear that such power could not be contained to these mere vessels. A calamity ensued. The power erupted from its containment devices and cascaded into the planet core. The planet shook violently as magma flows erupted forth from fault lines worsened by past wars. The entire planet was destroyed. And what was once such an impressive kingdom now became scattered red dust, pulverized by the powers Nebuchadnezzar once tried to claim for his own. Where planet Zareg once stood, a new star emanated, condensed from the energies of the planetary procession. And around that new star, a ring of red dust and ambition.